So you guys are now here at the ACC tip off. What's it? You guys just had Louisville Live, so that kind of made things a little bit more real. But now you got to see other teams, other players. It's, what's it feel like to be here? Oh, I mean, it's an unreal experience. I mean, just getting the opportunity to come here. You know, we're blessed to be here. Um, extremely grateful. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a crazy experience just looking around, seeing all the teams in the ACC. I'm just getting ready to play them soon. What is your thoughts about the ACC? Obviously, you're new to it. The whole team's new to it, basically. What are your thoughts about the ACC? Um, it's a good conference, great conference. Um, just looking around, you see, um, you know, all the uh, histories that are full of um, just rich history. Um, every his every uh, school, if you look around, it has um, just like just crazy Boston College, Duke, um, you know, North Carolina. Just all these like just crazy universities. Um, just, just being able to play in this is just a blessing. It kind of makes a reality. Like every night's a, a big night on the court. Yeah. Yeah, that's a big thing. Um, you know, there's no, there's no weak, weakest games, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, every game you got to come up and show, uh, show, show up. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I'm excited for that. Completely new roster, but you guys have been together for a while. How important was that Bahamas trip about learning each other and what you're like on the floor? Uh, yeah, it was a, it was a good experience. Just getting to, um, you know, build that chemistry. I'm um, just going down there and um, taking care of business, but at the same time, you know, having a little bit of fun. Um, but after we took care of business, though. Um, but, you know, yeah, just getting to know each other um, off the court is a big thing. Um, chemistry, obviously, it translates to the, to the court. Um, so, yeah, that's a big thing. I mean, it's a group of veterans. Was, does it make it easier to come together knowing, because you guys already have the college experience, was it easier for you guys to, to gel that way? Yeah, it's a little bit easier. I mean, just, uh, you know, I've been around the block a couple of times. Um, same, <laughs> same with the rest of the guys on the team. But, um, you know, a lot of us have been to March Madness last year. Um, you know, a lot of us know what it takes to win know what it takes to, you know, what a good program looks like, um, a good culture. Um, we pride ourselves on having, you know, the top culture in the country. So it's, um, if we all know what it looks like, it's a little bit easier to, you know, have that translate to the program. Louisville's obviously usually one of those teams that's a good program and is in the postseason. It hasn't been recently. But just from your experience and just the short time you've been here, what have you been able to sense from the passion of the Louisville fan base? Second to nine. Yeah. Yep. The, pa the passion of the fan base is second to nine. Um, just anywhere you go, uh, people are throwing L's up, you know, saying go cards. Um, you know, they're excited. You know, like they're they're drooling for, you know, good basketball again. Um, no knock on, you know, how the teams played the last couple of years, but, you know, they're, they're ready for, you know, wins and, you know, they're ready for um, just to have some passion on the court and just passing just in, in Louisville in general. Pat Kelsey, I've been to a couple of practices. Obviously, we've seen him at Louisville Live and other events. He's full of energy. Fantastic talker, gets everybody's attention. What's he like to, to play for? Um, I mean, he's he's a great guy. Yeah. Um, just on on the court and off the court. Um, on the court, he takes the time with you. Um, he understands that you know we're a, we're a new team. We're still gelling together. Um, he's uh, he's on the court. You know, he has his hoop shoes on, so you know he's gonna run up and down with us. Um, he's gonna jump in some drills now. Um, but he's just so he's so in, he has so much enthusiasm and so much energy and passion. And that's kind of what you look for in a coach, um, especially in, in today's age. So um, you know, just um, just seeing his passion is really inspiring to a lot of the players. Yeah, that's one of the things that jumped out to me when I came to your practices. Like he's out there. Yeah. I mean, how cool is that? To you know, you're kind of banging a little bit with the head coach. Yeah, I mean, it's cool. You know, sometimes you get a little extra shot in there. Um, <laughs> yeah. But um, you know, it's it's cool having him out there with us. Uh, you know, it's easier to, um, you know, visually learn um, when he's out there, you know, teaching us, you know, with our feet, you know, with, uh, you know, the movements uh, and the mm -hmm. plays, and it's just a lot easier when he's out there on the court with us. Watching you guys in the Bahamas, you guys are going to jack up some threes. How fun is that? It's the style that you're playing. Yeah, it's fun, but it also takes a lot of effort, though. Um, you know, rebounding, um, you know, if we're going to shoot a lot of threes, you know, we got to get back in transition. Transition defense is going to be very important for us. Um, yeah, so we got to lock in if we want to shoot a couple threes. <laughs> What's the defensive mindset of this team, you think? Uh, we're going to have a lot of dogs. That's, that's one thing that stands out, you know. We have a lot of guys that, you know, beg to guard the best players and, um, you know, want to get after, you know, the team's best players and, you know, um, lock up the shooters. And, you know, we have a lot of guys that, you know, are, are going to have, you know, nights where different nights where different, you know, guys are guarding the best players. So that's a, that's a huge compliment to our team's defense. Kenai Roos is kind of in a different situation, especially these days when you've got so many transfers. I mean, not all of you guys are seniors, but everybody's got all college experience. What do you think it's like for him being a newcomer, stepping into a team that's so veteran like you guys? Yeah, no, uh, I can only imagine, you know, what, it, what that's like. Um, you know, my freshman year, I, you know, I kind of got the, you know, short end of the stick a little bit. So I can only imagine, you know, what a <laughs> freshman in today's age is going through with uh, all the COVID years. But, you know, I mean, Kanai has, you know, he's arguably the best freshman I've seen. You know, I mean, he's out there and he's, you know, athletic. I guess anybody I've seen, like he's, he's not. It doesn't look like he's a freshman out there. Um, so you know, it's that's a huge compliment to his game. Um, you know, I'm 
the ACC will soon know, you know, what Kanai Roos can do for sure. What did you think of his uh, dunk uh, performances the other night? Yeah, that's, that's, that's another <laughs> thing that's come to the ACC. Yeah. Like, he's he's going to dunk on some people for sure. Nice. You know, when, when you think of the schedule, obviously it's going to be here soon. But do you try not to look ahead and go, wow, look at all these teams we've got on our schedule? Um, I mean, we kind of side-eyed mm-hmm. a little bit. I mean, we know that the, we have a tough, you know, gauntlet of schools coming up. Um, but at the same time, you know, we're just worried about the, you know, the next practice, getting better. Um, I mean, it sounds cliche, but that's the truth. Like, we can't we can't look ahead to, you know, the big bigger games, per se. Um, you know, we're just work, worked on, we're working on ourselves, um, you know, trying to be, you know, the most complete team that we can be with the best culture in the country. We know we're, we're focused on ourselves right now, but, you know, we're kind of side-eyeing the teams that, you know, we want, we're want. we looking forward to playing for sure. Last question for you. What's it like in, in practices when the media and other people aren't there? What's, what's the, the, the vocal comparison, like, I guess, between the players? What's the interaction with you guys like? I mean, the energy, um, yeah. we feed off Coach Kelsey. Um, yeah. You know, he brings it every day. You know, even if you're in the training room, he's coming by screaming. <laughs> um, there's never um, a dull moment with him. So, I mean, he's... When he brings energy, you know, it's, it's contagious. It, uh, the rest of the team brings energy. Um, you can't have a good team without talk. Um, that's the big thing that he talks about. So, you know, we're out there yelling, screaming, you know, regardless of this, um, you know, 100 people in there watching us or if there's none or if there's going to be 22,000 in the young watching us. So we're going to have to talk a little bit louder for sure. Awesome. Appreciate it, man. Thank you.